Hello, what's going on? Um, I wanted to do a video um, about supplements and vitamins and stuff like that that I take. Um, I am I am an avid gym goer. I do enjoy going to the gym. It's it's the only thing that sort of tends to centre me. Um, I do a lot of uh, calisthenics based training, um, you know, muscle ups, handstands, flags, things like that. I also do do free weights as well. Um, so I try and sort of mix mix the two. Um, now, obviously, because I go to the gym, of course, I'll you know taking supplements and things like that. Um, I take the usual um, gym stuff, you know, things like um, protein, uh, creatine, and um, like amino acids, things like that. Um, but I just wanted to sort of go through um, some of the other other supplements that I take, and I will I will say now there there is quite a lot and so you probably look at it and think that I'm bloody insane um, some of it I'm, I'm sort of testing I'm trying it out um, see if I get anything sort of positive from it uh, now I'm not endorsing any of these none of these like companies are paying me or anything like that uh, there's not going to be any affiliate links or, or, or anything like that um, in the comments. I'm not going to say go out and buy this, go out and buy that. This is just things that I, I purchase um, to aid towards the gym, <clears throat> uh, towards sort of like healing and um, just sort of like general health as well. So, I mean, we'll start off with, <clears throat> pardon me, something just quite simple uh, and that's just multivitamins um, and these ones in particular um, have cod liver oil in them as well uh, I'm sort of at least in my eyes getting on a little bit uh, gone past the age of, of 40 um, and so I, th I just think it's it's beneficial to be uh, taking some multivitamins and like I say particularly cod liver oil for for the joints and that um, obviously it's it's got your your basic ones and it gives you sort of like your 100% of your recommended daily allowance so it's, it's obviously got like your A's and uh, your B's and your uh, D3 and, and, and all that sort of stuff uh, so that's just a, a simple one for that okay the next one uh, like I've already sort of mentioned, uh, the cod liver oil. I actually take one that is just pure cod liver oil as well. So I get that sort of extra, extra little bit. Um, I don't know if it's good to take more cod liver oil. Um, I don't know if you can OD on cod liver oil. I don't know, maybe you turn into a fish or something. Possibly. Um, so... But yeah, I take some extra cod liver oil as well. Um, another thing, a new one that I've been taking um, in, the, in, the, in the last few weeks um, is glucosamine. Um, now this is something particularly for your uh, bone and joint health. Um, I've, I've noticed... Uh, probably in the last couple of months um particularly my right knee ten, tends to like give me some pain um getting up and down stairs like i can i can do it i like, fight through the pain but getting up and down stairs can be a bit painful and then sort of like with with my work my job that i do um sort of like uh, there's a number of times that I need to sort of like get down on my knees. No, don't, don't get your mind out of the gutter. I'm an electrician. I've got to get down to sockets and things like that. 
so I'm not doing anything else when I'm uh, getting down onto my knees. Um, so, but yeah, I've noticed sort of um, pain, pains in my knees and that. Um, so I would take the glucosamine, and I think I think it, it's definitely eased off like the pain, like taking this this daily. Um, so I have I have seen some improvements, but that's that's why I take that. Okay, the fourth thing that um, I currently take is um, turmeric and ginger. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure why I'm taking this. There was a reason. I tend to, like, go through, like, I watch sort of videos and shorts and stuff like that on YouTube or Instagram like from from other like athletes and and stuff like that um and there was someone or there must have been someone that recommended turmeric and ginger and so i bought some uh, i mean it's like six months supply and they're only like little tiny um tiny pills um so i bought some and i've been taking been taking them but just doing like a quick search on it it says like uh, ginger helps reduce weight lower cholesterol levels improve brain function solve indigestion issues and manage period pains well obviously the last one doesn't doesn't um include me so uh, and then it says turmeric helps maintain uh, heart health, decrease symptoms of depression, lower blood sugar levels, improve skin health and prevent eye disease. So, no, I can't be bad. So I'll probably keep taking them. Okay, the fifth thing that I take, and you're probably getting bored by now, um, is uh, collagen. Now, we should all hopefully know what what collagen is um it's basically what our skin is made up of to help with to help with the elasticity of it to, to keep it sort of like stop it from like sagging and you know it sort of keeps it firm and and vibrant i guess um so yeah i've i've been taking the this particular one for a while now it's a bit it's a bit overwhelming because they want you to take six tablets daily um which is which is quite a lot um have i actually seen any benefits from this yeah. it's it's hard to it's hard to say i want to actually go into i'll probably do another video um about sort of like skin condition like particularly acne uh, and things like that i've i've got sort of like a bit of a history of particularly when i was younger getting acne and then a bit older getting acne as well so i'll, I'll probably do like a different video um going into that a little bit further so i mean if you do if, if you are someone particularly adult acne um if you are someone that suffers from that you might want to sort of wait for that video to, to come out and, and and watch that. So obviously please subscribe uh, so you know when that video actually uh, becomes available. So um, yeah, I take the collagen. I mean, it says, it says research shows that taking 2.5 to 15 grams daily of hydronized collagen is safe. A smaller dose benefits your joints and skin while a larger amount helps with body composition and muscle mass. Plus, like we already know, um, it helps with with your skin and, and things like that. Here we go, sort of like skin elasticity and hydration. Collagen supplements have been shown to improve skin hydration and elastic elasticity for older people, uh, thickening, thicker hair. Um, while more men go bold, many women also have hair loss or thinning as they age. Healthier nails, reduced osteoarthritis pain, 
and increase muscle mass. These also have vitamin C because apparently I've heard in multiple places that vitamin C helps like the absorption of, of the collagen or you know how basically helps it um get into the body uh, a lot easier so yeah these ones come with uh with sort of enhanced with vitamin c okay so the six supplement that i take and i don't i don't actually take these every every day um I usually take them before before workout, uh, so <laughs> almost every day. These are the uh, citrulline. Now, sometimes they market them as L-citrulline. These are marketed as citrulline malate. malate. I'm not too sure of the difference, even though it does refer to it on the back here as L-citrulline. So maybe, maybe once it is digested, it becomes L-citrulline. Um, but it says here, L-citrulline is a naturally occurring amino acid produced by the body and found in some foods like watermelon, garlic, and some nuts. L-citrulline is used for, for fatigue, muscle weakness, in high blood pressure, it is commonly used in athletics and bodybuilding. Um, bodybuilding industry for increased energy and for improving athletic performance. Um, yeah, I think what it what it kind of does, it allows like it opens up your blood veins more, so blood can flow easier and and get through get through your body um so yeah like i say i take these usually before my workout maybe sort of like 30 minutes to an hour before a workout so you have to take three of them that's them so the seventh supplement is it's a new one that's i say it's a new one. it's probably been around for a long time but it's probably especially in places like china or, or um like around southeast asia um but it's it's substantial and it's it's sort of there's some others as well that are sort of hitting the western market by stone especially after the uh, I think Andrew Huberman, he's he's talked about them and, and stuff like that and possibly like Joe Rogan. Um, so they're becoming quite quite popular. But yeah, this this substance apparently it is good for sexual function. And I'm just reading it says main biological functions and mechanisms of the active components of herba substance. The active ingredients isolated from herb substance have three main biological functions, improvement of brain function, immune boosting effect, and nourishing aphrodisiac effect. So yes, it probably turns you on. Um, so I've started taking these I don't actually take these all the time. I sort of, I've, I've tend to be like a little bit hit and miss with 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 taking these. Uh, they're not, it's not been too regular. And there's only a few left, and I don't even know if I will purchase any more. I sort of thought to myself, I might as well just use them because I've I've bought them. Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure if I will purchase any more of these. I can honestly say I haven't seen any noticeable effects from it but i don't know maybe I, I i could notice if i stopped taking them so that's that one okay so the eighth thing that i've i've only recently started taking um quite new to this is the turkesterone now this 
from what I understand, is the plant or insect equivalent to testosterone. And the general the general idea is that they think so sort because of, testosterone is anabolic that possibly the plant and animal version, the testosterone, is is similar and will help um, with muscle synthesis. I mean it says on the bottle here increase muscle, improve stamina, boost focus and fast recovery. Again, I've only I've only just started taking these, um, so I can't really say if I've seen anything noticeable. I mean, this also seems to have various other um, vitamins and things in it as well. So. I think this one is a bit of a controversial one like there's not really too many studies out there that actually supports this at least like studies that were done a while back i think there's like some russian studies um nothing was sort of very conclusive and it's only it's only been recently i think there's been some some um some newer studies which uh support the idea that it helps build muscle so i'll keep taking this see if we see if we get anywhere with with that i mean it does just say here it works by increasing protein synthesis and nit nitrogen retention in muscle cells reducing cortisol levels that might be good reducing cortisol levels like reduce your stress hormone um reducing cortisol levels and improving insulin sensitivity uh tocesterone has numerous benefits including increased muscle mass improved endurance reduced inflammation um improved insulin sensitivity and like was just said reduced cortisol levels went over the same things again so yeah taking this see what happens with with them the ninth thing supplement that i take and again i've just started taking these so pretty uh fresh off the off the bat with these ones is the doe gear and i don't know much about these i mean it seems to say increased strength performance i've just done a quick research and it says for doe gear plays a convincing role in strengthening muscles being a herb with anabolic steroid features it helps in faster muscle growth and development and entices numerous bodybuilders which entices numerous bodybuilders to opt for it the effective effectiveness of fedogia transcends to the parameters of treating diabetes as well Hmm, so again it says people who take Fidogia um they do so to treat erectile dysfunction. So apparently it helps increase sex drive, improve athletic performance, um and support bodybuilding. And apparently, which I didn't know this, it, it gets used to treat malaria. So you might be might be worth having some of these with you if you go to a malaria infected country if you've got a lot of um, mosquitoes that carry malaria so that's the ninth one the tenth one again i just started taking this recently i saw it advertised somewhere and it looked it looked interesting is uh lion's mane which is from the the mushroom, the lion's mane mushroom, the fungus. Like I say, not been taking it too long, but this like a list of things that this is meant to help with uh, regulates blood sugar, reduces high blood pressure, 
promotes healthy energy levels and combats fatigue, helps to prevent excess blood lipid accumulation, protects heart health, shows slows biological aging, well, that's interesting, protects liver health and protects kidney health as well. Um, I also, I think the reason why why I decided to go with these is it says it helps with um, focus as well, sort of like it, it, it keeps your keeps your brain tuned in. So yeah, I'll continue taking these at least until it all runs out because we've paid for it. See if I see any any noticeable improvements. The next one on the list. If if you've been going to the gym, if you if you if you look at um, Instagram and things like that, this this pops up a lot. And I think uh, Andrew Huberman has has gone through uh, talking about this quite extensively, and that's Tonka Ali, or sometimes known as uh, Long Jack. Now this, this is actually meant to help with low testosterone. So I think, I could be wrong, so bear with me. I think these, taking these, it, it triggers something in your brain, possibly like from your, one of your glands, maybe like PNR gland, that could be wrong. It triggers some from, from a gland to tell your testicles to start producing more testosterone. Um, I mean, just reading up a little bit about it here, it says Tonka Ali or Long Jack is a herb supplement suggested f to improve low testosterone, male fertility, anxiety, athletic performance and muscle mass. Still research is limited. I think, I think with a lot of these research is limited and it's only, we're not going to know true effects until people start taking them and we start doing more studies on them. And because I think a lot of it's still, still fresh, we we don't we don't fully know um, if the if they help or if they help significantly. Um, so, but it says, um, yeah, if you know if you're looking to to try Tonka Ali then speak to Health Rider. Well, I, I didn't speak to Health Rider, I just got these on online. And I, I mean, I, I have been taking these for a little while. And I think I have possibly seen some improvement with, with using these. So these, I, I will definitely continue taking Tonka Ali. I think it is Definitely um, something that, that, that can help you out in the gym. Definitely. Okay, so the last thing, finally, got there in the end. This is a specific um, gym supplement. And again, this is, I think this is something, and this isn't necessarily that I've got, low testosterone or anything like that but this is something that does work on that that level um, and it's the animal stack now it says it's got things like it, 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 as far as i know it's all sort of like natural um ingredients it says it's got maca root stinging nettle Fenugreek seed, tribulus, terra, terra istris, um, as well as other things like zinc and magnesium and green tea extract. So yeah, ashwanga root, everything seems to have ashwanga root in these days. It's like I do actually have a separate ashwanga root supplement and like, like a pill and I don't even take it because half of these things that I've got here they've, they've put ashwanga in it so this this is this is when I do take these you, what you tend to do is 
I think how they want you to take these is that you take you usually get 21 packs. These come with 23. It's like free bonus packs, but you get 21 packs. And I'll show you. I'll show you one of the packs. It's a, bit, it's a bit of. So that's your. That's your pack right there. And you take these usually before you work out. I think an hour, 30 minutes before before you work out. Um, like I say, I've, I've, you take them for 21 days. So you usually get 21 packs. So you take them for 21 days and then you go off it for a week. And then you're meant to start again after that. I've, I've done it a few times where I've, I've probably been on them for maybe th three or four months. And then I've had a break for a little while. And usually when, when I come back round to start them up again, when, when I think, when I've had like a, a month or two break and I think, right, I'll go back on them again. At least, at least for the first few weeks, I can, I can definitely feel the, these working. Sort of like, you, you just feel, I don't, like you don't get like high or anything like that. You just you you your workout seems to just go a lot better. Um, you get more of the pump. It's like the, the weight seems to be easier. You sort of like you, you can you can you know you can feel it. Um, so these these are something. I mean, I've I've tried other similar things to to this, like marketed for the same same sort of purpose. And I don't think anything has has come quite quite as good as as what the animal stack is there's another there's another type it's the m stack and i think they're a little bit different apparently they're not meant to be anabolic so i'm guessing this is meant to be anabolic so i can't really can't really speak much to the m stack but definitely just the, the normal stack from from animal seems to be seems to be pretty good so I will continue using these, and I, and I will, like I say, I'm, I'm I'm not sponsored. There's no affiliate links or anything like that, but I will recommend Animal Stack if if you're sort of hitting plateaus in the gym. Um, if if you're a bit older as well, you probably don't need to take something like this if you if you like in your early twenties. But if you sort of kicking kicking on to your sort of late thirties, early forties. Or, or older and you just need something to give you a, sort of a bit of a boost in in the gym then definitely um give the give the animal stack a look like i say i'm not associated with it there's not going to be any links or anything like that i don't make any money off it this is just a personal recommendation so you can give give them a go if if you want to um so I think on one of my previous videos, I I talked about how I was doing a blood test to check to check for my general health of uh, you know if if everything's working all right, and then I also added the um, male hormone testosterone option onto the onto the test as as well. Um, I have got the results for that, and I will do a video for 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 that. Um, try and do it in the next next few days. Get that get that out. But I have got the results for that. Um, it's I think it's one reason why I decided to do a video about my supplements because I think obviously a lot of these supplements probably can change and effects sort of how the blood test may come out so um that's why i thought I'd, I'd sort of do a video showing what supplements i got and then obviously that can sort of link over to to uh, the results for the blood blood test so right thanks for watching i know this was a bit of a long one if you made it till the end i appreciate it uh please if you liked it like I say, I know these are very amateurish at the moment. I'm I'm trying to get off off the ground with this, trying to sort of 
find my place um but if you, if you liked it please subscribe and please hit the like button as always drop a comment in in below if you want to ask me anything about any of these supplements um or, or or anything else about even even about training or anything like that so yeah please drop a comment below and um i'll try and get around to reading it and and reply okay sweet see you later